Hello you guys, you guys probably won't believe this, but this is like the seventh take of this video. Um, just technical difficulties at every corner, especially in the editing area, so I'm redoing the whole thing. Yes, I am sick today. Um, had some more fun stuff planned for you guys, but uh, you know, getting sick is never part of the plan. But at least I got sick on like the amount of days that I have off, that little block of time, so I've done it. Anyways. UAG case for the new MacBook. You're probably wondering, why are you showing me this not on your laptop? It's because when you go to snap um, all the little pieces in, they all don't line up. I've done it about 74 times, and I've been able to get the bottom to snap on mostly, except for some of these little lip things that just don't. Uh, you have to assault the, the more fragile part of your device, which is the screen and the bezels. So when you're trying to snap these things on, they're pushing on the metal, right? And then like you're pushing on the screen and the screen has really thin bezels. So when you push, you see your finger make that indent that you would like if you press on modern day screens, um, that little ripple gel effect. I personally can't live with doing that to my brand new MacBook because this thing costs a lot of money, well, at least to me. Um, so I cannot recommend this product because you're sitting there assaulting your brand new MacBook, which you're meant to be protecting with this, but you're not. So I will be returning this product. I'll probably try to find something a little less invasive. Um, I don't know, maybe you had luck with this product. I did not. Um, it's unfortunate, UAG usually makes really good products and they're really solidly built. So hopefully next video is a little more positive, a little better. Uh, I might go with like a leather case for my laptop or something. I don't know that yet though. Uh, but hopefully next video is better. Hopefully I can find that or I'll just go with the route that I went on my last MacBook and uh, Rock it for nine years without a case. Nothing really happened to it other than its own, its own personal faults. Dude, like, look, even these things fell off the little rubber nubs, which I like on the new MacBook that they're flat, not like little domes. Um, yeah, I might just, might just go caseless, but we shall see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Dude, I look homeless. Oh. Hopefully we get better.